untamed and uncut. A baby deer is in danger of drowning. The fawn was fighting for its life. Every effort to save the helpless animal is in vain. It was the loudest noise I'd ever heard an animal make. He was crying for his life. But one man is determined to save a life, no matter what the cost. The tips of those hooves are pretty sharp. I mean, they could definitely poke out an eye. The drama unfolds in one of the most picturesque places in America, New York's Mohonk Preserve. It's a beautiful mountain resort, the top of the world, and it's probably the prettiest place I've ever been. Tara Price and her fiance, Tom Egan, are vacationing at the resort. When suddenly, they videotape a sight they never could have imagined. A scared three-month-old fawn has fallen in the reservoir above the resort, and there is no way out. The fawn's definitely in a struggle for survival. Although deer can swim, wildlife expert Dr. Mick Hellickson says the 40-pound white-tailed deer was just minutes from drowning. It's trapped inside this wetland area that's got a ledge around it and uh, no way out. The 40-foot deep reservoir was originally designed with animal safety in mind. But the jagged rocks that were strategically placed around its rim to keep animals from falling in are now preventing the fawn from climbing back out. I would guess that it's been in the water quite a long time, probably overnight. Dr. Hellickson believes the young deer got separated from its mother. Then, propelled by panic, the fawn jumped up and over the four-foot-high rocks, then plummeted nine feet into the 55-degree water. It's estimated the highest a white-tailed fawn can jump is five feet. This deer would have to leap almost double that to get out. Take it and hold. Out of the crowd emerges a hero in the making. This guy who was standing five feet away from me was already taking his clothes off down to his underwear. And he was uh, first one to volunteer. He was just going to jump in. That guy is Brit St. John. I knew something had to be done. And I knew I had to do it. But it is easier said than done. It didn't know I was coming to save it. It thought I was coming to attack it. The deer was swimming along the periphery, um, so I cut it off and I anticipated my approach. I knew that it had to be kicking and it was going to kick. Brit has to be careful. The deer's hooves are razor sharp. When I grabbed hold of that deer, it just let out a bleep that shocked me. Even though it was fighting and kicking and trying to get away from me, I had a firm grip and it, was, it, was, it wasn't going to go anywhere. Finally, they reach the edge. And that's when someone took their belt off and handed their belt to him. Um, he managed to wrap the belt around the fawn, and then someone else jumped in, raised the fawn out of the reservoir. It whelmed me up with uh, the joy that I, that I could save the deer. I consider myself lucky, lucky that I had the opportunity. Untamed and uncut, only on Animal Planet.